how to create a 3D news channel like this, as well as 3D avatars with this new awesome tool called Rendora AI. Let's get started and don't forget to hit the like button and turn on notifications. So to create the 3D avatars, just open Chrome and search for Rendora AI. Simply click on the first link you see. And as you can see, it is the world's first 3D avatar platform. You can turn your text into 3D, you can turn your avatars into 3D, and you can see some of its other functionalities here. You can choose a 3D studio, you can choose your 3D avatar, you can enter your text, and use a script of your own for it. Scroll down, and you'll see more or less the same thing. You don't need actors. You don't need a whole new studio. All you need is Rendora AI. Let's cut to the chase and get started. Go over here and click on Get Started. I'll sign in using my Gmail. Once you've done that, you should be presented with this dashboard. When you sign up, they will give you 500 free credits to use. Now let's use their tool. As you can see, you're presented with a whole lot of templates to try out. They have a wide variety of libraries for you to choose from. You can scroll back up and select portraits. You can see the ones in portrait view. And as well, you can select landscape to see the ones in landscape orientation. So first of all, let's try out their turn text to video feature. Click on play video, then click on get started. You should be presented with this interface. If it's your first time, I'd advise you take the tour. When you're done with the guide, you can proceed to change the text however you like. I'll just type this in. In case you didn't know, this is going to be the voiceover. When you're done typing, you can go ahead and add a pause. You can choose the amount of time. For this, I'll use one second. Then I'll add another pause and maybe make it two seconds. Then I can add an action. Select any action from their large library. I'll use waving. You can change the images if you want. Go over here to the timeline and click on edit. Once you're here, you can adjust the image however you want. You can increase the size a little bit. You can flip vertically or horizontally, you can align it as well. You can adjust the opacity and zoom in more. You can add a clip, you can simply upload any one you want. I've got this image, so I'll just bring it in as an example. When you're done, simply click on import. Select it, then press OK. Now we can go ahead and bring it to the timeline. And this is it. But since we don't want this, we can just remove it. Then we'll go back. So basically, all you need to do is to individually change all of this according to the info you're trying to portray. Rendora makes customization a breeze. You can go here and change the scripts. You can just play around with it. You can add pauses when you want to. You can also go over here to change the voice. Once you click on it, you can select any voice that you want. I used to think that life was I used to think that life was made up of really big moments. This is a huge marketplace. Just pick any. You can change gender voices if you want. This is a huge marketplace, and payments are at the center of what we call an amazing experience. We operate in 70 countries. But we'll leave it as female. Though all the voices are great and realistic. When you're done, click on 3D Generate. I click on Next. Now it should be cooking up something. So now it's done. Let's see how it has managed to generate the video. Hello, welcome to Brain Project. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As we promised last year, we will be introducing an upgraded version of Airheads, pushing beyond limits. And today, I'm really excited to introduce Airheads Max, a perfect balance of exhilarating high-fidelity audio and the effortless magic of Airheads. 
It's the most powerful headphone Bio has ever made. Let's talk about the design. The over-ear headphone has been completely reimagined. Brain Project is the leading AI influencer channel on YouTube, LOL. Crafted with acoustically engineered memory foam, the ear cushions gently create an immersive... You can decide to export it. You can decide to add the watermark, choose the frames per second. It's really customizable. You can also change the resolution. Choose 1080p. You can add subtitles or not. Then you can go ahead and click on confirm. But for now, let's try out the AI avatar creation. Exit this and head back to the homepage. Then simply click on hyper realistic AI avatar. Click on get started for free. Now it's up to us to select the avatar. Under the 3D avatar tab, go over here and click on try. With this, we will design our own AI avatar. Now we should have more flexibility with our character. So we can just choose the base model. I'll select this for now. Then you can go to outfits. We can filter by color. Maybe we'll go for white. This one might fit our avatar. Or let's change up the style. We'll go for athletic or maybe casual. Yeah, something like this. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and select the hairstyle. Try to find one that fits your avatar. Then you can go over here and change the hair color. Under accessories, let's give him some flair. You can simply pick any of the glasses. Try to pick one that doesn't make him look like a nerd. When you're done, you can give it a name. You can rotate or pan around to get a better perspective of how our avatar looks. We could also adjust his facial features simply play around with the values. There are even more settings for you to customize. Whether it's the head, nose, eyebrows, all of that can be easily customized here. When you're done, click on Create Avatar. Once that's done, Liam or whatever avatar you created should be here. You can also go to the script. You can either upload or use AI-generated scripts. That's what I'm going to use. Just type in the topic that you want it to generate. And as you can see, it is successfully cooking up the script for us. You can always regenerate, but I'll just apply it for now. It has been changed throughout our scene. You can go over to Assets, and you can add your own assets. You can also change the studio. So go to Studio, exit this. Now we have a much wider variety. Just pick any one that you like, and then you can always hit 3D Generate. It should start. And this is the result. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's journey through time as we delve into the fascinating tale of how laptops have evolved over the decades. Let's start by taking a trip back to the early 1980s when laptops or portable computers were just beginning to take shape. Initially, they were heavy and bulky, often. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.